everybody to our inaugural Southeast Michigan IH Truck and Scout Gathering here at Nick Rayer's house. We're here with him and his wife celebrating all things IH. Uh, nice little gathering, beautiful day. We're going to be doing some walk arounds and talking to various people on their pride and joy. So here we have Mr. Rayer. Nick, I'd like you to talk about your, your two Comanches here. Uh, first of all, tell us a little about yourself. Um, been in the Scouts a long, long time, since high school. I'm 56, retired, spent too much time on Scouts now. Never too much time. Nick, Nick has a, a, lot of time. a wonderful selection of, uh, of classic vehicles, and we're going to start with these two. Um, very similar, if not identical vehicles. Uh, so yeah, let's let's start off. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, this is a 71 800B Comanche. It belongs to Mike Kunselman. He passed away. I was able to get it uh, from his estate. And it's all original. And with good and bad that goes with that. An interesting story. Uh, tell us about the dealership. Um, between these two vehicles? Uh, both of them were sold new in Montebello, California. Uh, very similar specs, right? 304? Uh, identical specs. 304, identical specs. automatic, 373 gears. Uh, both identical. Both had dealer installed AC when yeah. they were new, which is all gone now. Um, this one is recent. I've had this truck for 20 plus years. The good one. Nick's been an uh, enthusiast for a good 30 years now, right? Your first vehicle was an 1980? The first vehicle was an 1964 C1100. Uh, 30, more than 30 years, probably 40 years. So yeah, once again, we do want to thank Nick and his wife for hosting the event, and uh, of course, Mr. Glancy, a Super Scout Specialist, for providing some of the uh, party favors and um, the nice shade with his canopy. Yeah, really rain. nice to bring. The rain did not come. The rain did not about. come. We're very happy. Tell us that. about the second one here. The second Comanche, I got that about 20 years ago in Idaho. Um, Tell us a, what happened the first day you got it. First day I got it, I hit a deer with it. Oh my goodness. The first, How bad was it? Yeah, damaged the bumper, the nose cone. You can still see the evidence on the front fender. Yep. So he rolls it off of the, uh, the hauler. Goes for a short drive down the road, and here comes the deer. Here comes the deer, yep. It's also original, pretty much original paint. Yeah. This is a this is an exquisite survivor, folks. You, the the camera is not gonna be able to do this one justice. It's a it's an absolutely gorgeous daily driver with mostly original paint and decal work. Is that headliner right? Yeah, it's got a Mexican headliner. Ah, well that it came. I, I, got, I got it in Idaho, but it was a rancher <laughs> who also had a ranch in Mexico. I see. When I got it, the whole container was gold. Gold diamond beads. So you kind of clean that up a little bit. Pretty straight. Really nice vehicle. Really great to see that. Thank you. Well, thanks for showing us that. You're welcome. Catch up with you next time. Thanks for coming up.